But if you would ask me kung worth it ba siyang bilhin, I would be honest. Hello everyone, this is Rosie and thanks for visiting. If it's your first time to see me here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates. This video might be strange to some of you because if you check my previous uploads, I'm just making song covers. However, I'm having a hard time uploading videos for a while now because of our internet connection. That's why I bought this product to see if this would solve my issue. So today we're going to review the latest product of PLDT. We have here prepaid PLDT home Wi-Fi. Uh, CAT6 Evolution FXID5 and the CAT6 Boost Even R281. So let's see which one is better and worth the money. I ordered this online at PLDT official website and it was delivered after 3 days. So masaya kasi mabilis lang siyang na-deliver. They're on the same price of 1,995 pesos and yung delivery fee naman ay 340 pesos. So let's see what's inside these boxes. Okay, so this is the uh, Evolution modem and the uh, Boost even. We have here the power cord, LAN cable, user guides, warranty card or certificate, and the SIM card. So there's a note na naka-insert na yung SIM card dun sa modem. And dito naman, uh, the same lang. Meron tayong power cord, LAN cable, user guides, warranty certificate, and the SIM card. So guys, as you can see, mas malaki ng kaunti itong boost event kesa dito sa uh, Evolution. Uh, yung light indicators nitong Evolution ay nasa baba while yung indicators naman nitong boost event ay nasa taas. So, hindi ko na po e-elaborate yung mga indicators as you can read the manuals naman po. So, sa likod po nitong Evolution, meron tayo ditong dalawang hole na may tornillo sa loob. Then, we have the one port and then the three LAN ports. Meron tayong power switch, uh, power input, reset button, and yung WPS button. Well, dito naman sa bus even, we have the WPS button. So, unlike dito sa Evolution, dito sa bus even, yung reset button natin ay meron siyang hold. And then, we have four LAN ports. And yung first port niya ay pwede rin siyang one port. And then, the power input. And we have the power switch. And itong nasa taas ng bus even ay bubuksan natin. So, here we can see uh, two antenna ports. So, kung wala ka talagang signal sa inyo, pwede kang bumili ng external um, antenna sa electronic shops. So, ito yung maganda dito sa Boost Even na wala dito sa Evolution. So, guys, tumawag ako sa customer service and sabi nila sa akin, pwede naman daw nating lagyan ng external antenna tong Evolution. Babaklasin nyo nga lang yung dalawang tornillo. Which is hindi nila ina-advise kasi meron ngang possibility na masira yung device. Another thing about these modems is that the Evolution is made in US while the Boost Event is made in China.
Guys, it's evident that during peak hours, mabagal talaga yung speed or yung connection. And kung mapapansin natin, wala masyadong pinagkaiba yung dalawang modem. But if I had to choose, I would choose the Boost Even kasi meron itong two antenna ports and mas mabilis siya ng konti kesa dun sa Evolution. But if you would ask me kung worth it ba siyang bilhin, I would be honest. We have a lot of things to do during the day. Online jobs, online selling, online class. And it's just disappointing na kailangan mo pang maghintay na bumilis yung connection mo. Kailangan mo pang maghintay ng gabi or madaling araw para nang matapos mo yung mga ginagawa mo. I also tried to compare these two latest modems sa current modem na gamit ko which is this. The R051 modem. I'll show you the speed test result. See the difference guys, this R051 modem has two LAN ports only and it has no antenna but when it comes to speed, halos hindi sila nagkahalayo. Besides, it's cheaper than these two modems, it only costs 995 pesos. I think TLDT and all other providers should upgrade their service, not just modems. Because even if you buy the latest modems, it wouldn't make any difference. I believe it's not worth it. Anyway, that's just my opinion. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about this video. Leave a comment below. See you on my next video.